Hey guys, I'm Alex from Technoclass.com and this is the Asus Zenfone 5, a very affordable Intel Atom powered smartphone and of course the Intel Atom is a dual core one which means it has hyper threading and hyper threading means it's very fast. It's actually about as fast as other quad core devices in the market and this is only 6,495 pesos. has an 8 megapixel camera uh, 2 gigs of RAM which is abundant for this price range and as you can see here it is very smooth as well so it is a 5 inch 720p screen and we are going to review it right now but first we are going to unbox it really quickly we'll see you guys after the break this is the Asus Zenfone 5 review So we're just going to not waste any time, we're just going to remove it. So what you see here is the phone. That looks pretty nice. That, that white is pretty cool, huh? Uh, we have a nice all black front there with a little bit of a bezel right there. A little bit cleaner now. There we go. Boom. You can see my lighting conditions right here. That's artif artificial light. Uh, nice uh, sort of Zen UI style uh, buttons on the left side. So we're going to turn it on right now. There we go. All right, so that's turning on. All right, you can see that. Okay, so the box is pretty cool. There's a little bit of a holes there. Some holes there, you can see the specs right there or, or actually the parts. Uh, it says 3G to 21, 10 milliamp hour battery, uh, wireless LAN 3.5, Bluetooth 4.0, 8 megapixel, pixel master camera. Uh, here's a warranty card from Z for the Zenfone. There we go. What else do we have here? And oh, what is this? Oh, uh, don't cut your SIM card. Uh, we have a 1.35 amp charger, slightly faster than usual charger. Still not fast, uh, as fast as 2.1 uh, amps. There's a USB cable and looks like some buds here. We do not have the earphones itself. Maybe the earphones were, got lost uh, while we got the uh, review you all right guys so here is the asus zenfone 5 all installed and everything and i do apologize it's raining very hard outside and i have a very nasty cold anyway zenfone 5 this is the 5 inch variant of the zenfone series and as you can see it has a nice 720p ips hd display of course 720p means hd we turned that off just to show you some of the parts of course we have the 2 megapixel camera over here Speaker grill right there, Asus logo over there, there's, a, there's some hidden sensors there, which is a light sensitivity and proximity sensor. And over on this area right here, opposite of the sensors, is a LED notification light, which I do believe goes uh, red or green. Uh, green for notifications and red for charging, I do believe. This is, by the way, a nice black uh, Gorilla Glass 3 protection over here on front. And on the bottom we have a sort of metallic strip that is kind of cool, kind of a, uh, I don't know, there's a pattern there somewhere. And it's, uh, the, it catches the light really nicely. Uh, over on the bottom, of course, we have the back home and recents button. This is no longer the menu button, it's a recents button. Uh, I do have to mention though that A, number one, the back button is on the left side. And number two, which is kind of important, well, sort of. Uh, these buttons do not light up. So anyway, that is the front of the phone. Over on the left side, we have nothing, and uh, except for the little notch here to open the phone itself. On top, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is CTIA compliant, which is nice. I do believe that little pinhole right there is a noise cancellation microphone. And on the right side, there is a lot of buttons. This is where the buttons lie, uh, which is normal for most phones. Uh, the power button right there and the volume rocker. These are reminiscent of the Asus Zen UI and then the Zen Touch right here. And on the bottom we have a your pinhole microphone for making calls and a 3.5 millimeter, uh, sorry, micro USB port for charging and data transfer. Take note, I could not make USB OTG to work, so I don't think it supports USB OTG just yet. On the back, looks like we have a nice sort of soft touch back it's actually very matte uh, very nice feeling in the hand 
We have a Zenfone logo on the bottom with the speaker grill right there. Nice looking speaker grill, by the way. The speaker is, I believe, on the left side, which you can muffle. We'll show you that later. Intel inside logo because this is an Intel Atom device. Uh, on top, near the top, we have an Asus logo, a the 8 megapixel camera, and the LED flash, which do not pop out of the back, which is nice because you don't want to scratch the camera. So, all right. So overall, though, the the design of the Zenfone is actually very, very nice, particularly the back. I really like the back. It sort of speaks to the Asus uh, design. Of course, there's also the metallic touches here and there. Uh, I do have to say, though, the bezels are pretty big. So if I turn off the display right here, the bezels are this area right here and that area right here. Even the side bezels are pretty big. Now, if you want to compare it, here we have the uh, Cherry Mobile Flare 3 and as you can see the bezels are definitely much much smaller look at this guy this is the of course the Galaxy S5 and of course the bezels are even smaller so uh, that's just it you know, the bezels are kind of big uh, there's a bit of a flat areas on the side that's not too bad uh, one thing I have to say though is this little flat area I, I like the front it's sort of the shiny all black front but there is a bit of an edge to this little area right here. So if you just look at this area, I don't know if you can get that on the camera. It does sort of scratch a bit. I, I wouldn't say scratch, but it does dig into your palm. So if you hold on to this very tightly, it might dig into your palm or it might be abrasive. It's not a big deal at all. And the design is actually very, very good either way. Those are just very, very minor nitpicks. Overall though, the Asus Zenfone 5's design is actually very nice. And it's actually a very, very Asus-like design, which people will definitely uh, respond to. So there you go. That's just it for the Asus Zenfone 5's design. We're going to move on to its user interface right now. Alright guys, so here we are taking a look at the Asus Zen UI from the Asus Zenfone 5 and as you can see it is a very smooth UI uh, tons of customizations but it does still look very stock and as you can see if you do uh, you can pull down the menus from there you can pull down another menu from the right side which gives you quick settings and you can adjust the settings that do appear there you want to pick the right ones that uh, are commonly used by you uh, the Zen UI is sort of uh, a trademark Asus uh, unified uh, user interface and it actually looks very nice as you can see the icons are kind of unified there's a box uh, bordering them there's the uh, boxes as you can see these are the Asus applications and they look very similar the iconography is very similar here is the app drawer and as you can see uh, it does look very good I, what I noticed with the Zen UI though is that they prefer a lot of space in between the icons Normally, uh, you'd get a lot. Uh, you'd get a bigger icons with smaller space in between, but this one has some more ample sort of bordering in between them. That's not a major deal. This still looks very good and actually looks very very cool, uh, especially for a 6,500 peso phone. You're getting a very very good UI. It's a bit unfortunate that it is only Android 4.3 Jelly Bean though, but they did promise that updates will be coming soon and uh, during the review process I did get a lot of updates for this product so I am willing to bet that the updates will be very good for the Zen phones all of the Zen phones 4 5 and 6 as for the added value stuff as you can see there are a bunch of applications that you that Asus pre-installed there's do it later there's um, power saver super note web storage audio wizard and splendid splendid is the one where you can change the color gamut or the color temperature for example of your display so if I want it warm I can make it warm and stuff like that you can the audio wizard can uh, change your equalization settings on your audio so that's very good there's a lot of uh, additional free stuff here from Asus and as you can see there's PC link there's party link there's so many stuff uh, there's not it's not bloatware per se they're very functional and uh, actually very useful. So at least Asus has given us some extra stuff. I do want to mention quickly that the storage distribution is kind of interesting because you do get 8 gigs of storage here and as you can see you can install a lot of apps already. Although the SD card is kind of an interesting uh, little side note because you have to go to Asus customize settings and then you can pick app installation settings 
go to preferred external storage or whatever if you want to install apps to your micro SD card though I do know that some apps are not available to be moved for example uh, let's uh, let's find this application I think NBA 2k14 cannot be moved to SD card as you can see right there but I could move uh, the modern combat 4 and asphalt 8 so I do hope that NBA 2k14 is not does not happen often. The Zenfone 5 has 8 gigs of ROM and about 3 gigs of that is used by the system uh, for system applications. So you do get 5 gigs left over for other applications. And what's bonus there? What's a bonus there is it is a unified storage, so it's not separated by 1 and 4 gigs. So there's no limit of applications to be installed there. Of course, there is that NBA thing where it has to be installed on the internal and cannot be moved to SD card. That's just a minor thing though. Alright guys, so speaking about the camera application here, we do have a very nice camera application with a lot of features. As you can see right here, there's beautification, smart remove, blah blah blah. One feature I do like is the selfie mode. Uh, you don't have to flip the, the phone to take a front-facing camera shot. You just input how many faces you need in the shot. For example, two people are taking a selfie. If they show up on the viewfinder, the the phone will take a picture on its, on its own, which is very nice. There's also the much-touted low-light mode. In this version, the Zenfone 5, you do get two megapixel shots in low-light. And actually, it works very well, and it takes the shot very quickly. Although there's a lot of it, it does make the picture a two megapixel one, and I will show you the samples of those camera shots after at the end of the video. The, the camera itself is pretty good above average for this price range. This is, I remind you, six thousand five hundred pesos. So it is actually uh, above average for this phone. So there you go. Also does 1080p video. All right, so as far as the Antutu score is concerned, we get about 19,601 plus. Uh, there was one time where I got 20,000, which is very nice. Keep in mind, this is a 6,500 peso phone with a dual-core Intel Atom hyper-threading processor, and the, it manages to get Antutu score of 20,000 points. Now, looking at CPU-Z, of course, you do see that it is a dual-core processor running at 1.6 gigahertz. There are various versions. Uh, this is running the 1.6 uh, gigahertz version has two gigs of ram and all that good stuff so there you go 720p display quadrant standard says the display has a re refresh rate of flat 60 hertz that's actually very good it has accelerometer light sensor orientation proximity magnetic sensor the touch system actually i want to see this uh, it looks like it does 10 touch points, which is very, very good. There you go, 10 touch points. Awesome. All right, so that's it for the testing. Of course, I did mention that the USB OTG does not work on this ROM or this unit. So we are going to move on to some gaming now, though. All right, guys, so here we are playing a game called Modern Combat for a very demanding first-person shooter here on Android. And, of course, the Zenfone 5 looks like it runs it no problem at all not even a lot of frame skip as opposed to other uh, devices in this price range let me try and see if i can zoom in because i'm pressing the wrong buttons here yeah controls are tight there's no lag in the controls and the uh zooming in and all that stuff works perfect you can see great shooting great you know graphics and all that and the frame rate is pretty solid so there you go it is quite impressive. I unfortunately could not install uh, Modern Combat 5. It's not cleared for the Intel Atom processor just yet. But look at that. You can shoot guys and do some stuff. So we're going to move on to another game right now. Alright guys, so here we are taking a look at a game called Asphalt 8 for Android, of course. And it's running on the Zenfone 5. We're going to try and... Oh, I messed that up. I could have knocked him out. Normally I could. Oh, there we go. We are running this game on full graphics settings, everything turned on, highest quality as possible. As you can see, we got all the uh, sort of the blur effects and the sort of dirt on the screen. I don't know if that's dirt on the screen or sort of sun sunspots or lens flare. There you go, lens flare. I don't know what those are, 
but they look great. The blurring, uh, of course, the motion blur, of course, because you're traveling in a car, looks great. The graphics looks great. There is a bit of, I don't know, a, a frame skip once or twice here and there, but doesn't hinder gameplay at all. It's a very, very fast phone, and it can handle Asphalt 8 with no problems at all. Let me try and... Whee! I don't know if I did that right. Anyways, looks like modern... Let's try and crash into something. Uh, I couldn't do it. Anyway, that is modern, modern combat. Sorry, Asphalt 8 running on full graphics settings. Looks really good and it runs really well on the Zenfone 5. Now we're going to move on. Alright guys, so the last game we're going to check out is NBA 2K14. Because you know everybody loves them basketballs, right? So as you can see, this is the game itself and I'm actually going to show you where the speakers are. If you put your finger over here, muffles the sound quite a bit. I'm not, I'm actually not supposed to be playing. Here we go. Bit of frame skip initially. Oh, yeah. that was, that was bad. Um, bit of frame skip here and there, but playing the game, it actually is very, very smooth. And as you can see, I'm going to try and, whoa, nope, I suck at this game. So there you go. Uh, this game runs really well. And of course, the 20,000 score, ooh, three points, nope. The 20,000 points on Antutu does the phone justice. And imagine this is only 6,500 bucks. So it's actually a very, very affordable guy with a 20,000 Antutu score. All right, boys and girls, I think that's about it for the Asus Zenfone 5, a very affordable, very powerful, very awesome uh, Asus branded 5-inch phone for only 6500 bucks. It's actually a very nice phone, and I do like it. The, uh, the bezels are a little, you know, big-ish, but then again, it is a Asus product. They do like their bezels. I do like the Gorilla Glass 3 display. It's a nice sort of uh, black front right there and it's a scratch resistant display this is the lock screen by the way I don't know if you remember I showed it in the early part of the video if you want to unlock it and take go, go directly to the camera you just go to that spotlight area it also tells you what's next on your calendar if you do set it like that anyway the Zenfone 5 is a very very nice phone for the price 6500 we're going to talk about the pros and cons right now. So number one pro is it's affordable and yet very powerful. It's a very cool 20,000 uh, score on Antutu and yet it's 6,500. It's very, very affordable. It does actually compete with local brands and that's pro number two. It's a great alternative to local brands. If you want the Asus uh, seal of approval and of course the warranty, customer service and all that, you want to get an Asus product because they do have good uh, customer service for only 6500 It's a good competition to the local brands. Number three, Zen UI looks great, actually. It's the one of the best UIs you can get for this price range. You, if you have 6500 pesos, this is the best UI you can get, aside from, you know, a nice stock Android KitKat experience. There are a bunch of useful features like the Do It Later application, and the camera has a bunch of features that you will probably use eventually you know sometimes you want to take it on auto but some of them are actually fairly useful and of course there are a lot of extra apps that you can take advantage of there's the Asus, uh, Asus cloud and stuff and all that good stuff number four pro is it has two gigs of RAM can you imagine that this is only six thousand five hundred bucks and you get two gigs of RAM which is a lot for multitasking that's great and last but not least, the camera is uh, produces above average shots, of course, for this price range, 6,500 pesos. It is quite impressive. And the low light capabilities with the uh, sort of the owl mode, the quago mode is what they, they I want to call it, is actually sort of useful. I am uh, planning on doing another video talking about the, uh, the owl modes and how it works but there you go the night vision mode is actually effective uh, in certain aspects of course it only takes two megapixel shots so you do get a, a very low resolution image but it does take the picture even in low light all right we're going to talk about the cons now of course number one it's not android kitkat though 
that is normally a minor thing and I'm not going to complain because obviously Asus is probably going to update this guy to KitKat very very soon. They're not shy in sending out the updates not like other manufacturers. Number two, the buttons don't light up. I don't know why that is but of course it's an Asus, it's one of Asus's first phones so we do have to forgive them for that but the buttons don't light up. It's the buttons don't light up. Uh, the SD card install feature is kind of weird as well, but it does uh, free up some space. It's just a little different than usual. Uh, there's also the thick bezels, especially top and bottom. You, you can definitely remove quite a bit here, even just about an inch. Um, of course, like I said, it's an Asus product, and uh, yeah, they do like their bezels. One thing to note also is that the, the corner here is a bit sharp. Uh, and then lastly, I think, well, some people will not like the lack of USB OTG feature, which we tested and it didn't work, so there's another uh, con right there. But overall, the Asus Zenfone 5 is a very affordable, like I said, very powerful, nice-looking uh, phablet, 5-inch affordable device, and nobody will think it is only 6,500 pesos. It's an Asus product. It's a dual SIM, micro SD card, somebody's barking outside. I'm Alex from Technoclass.com. That has been the Zenfone 5 review. It's a very awesome phone. Check it out. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.